Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Um, I wanted to go through some skincare with you because I've been talking a lot about my rosacea recently. Um, it's a lot better than it was, a lot, lot better. It got to a point where the areas on my cheeks looked as though they'd been burnt. They had the sort of blisters, very itchy. I had the breakout all down the side of my eye and nose, forehead. So this is a lot, lot better. Um, all I can say is it completely subsided and I mean this is very very softened down um, when the hormones kicked in so as soon as my period started the rosacea completely died down and that's what I'm finding so I'm leaning towards my rosacea being linked to hormones um, my hormones at various stages mostly I'm sure leaving the building um, anyway, I have changed my skincare a lot, kind of, um, different products, but it's sort of working and I was talking to my lovely friend Lynn this morning and I kind of said, I feel that it's going to be something I can't do anything about, so I'm going to get these flare ups because of the hormones. So what I'm going to do is just keep going through with my routine and waiting for it to subside and that's all I can do. But I am using my prescription only um, creams and I wanted to share them with you because I know some of you have been out and you've either spoken to your doctor and you've got your prescription or you, there are online prescription services. You still have to go through a consultation. You can't just buy them blatantly online. You do have to go through a strict consultation. You also have to provide photographs as well of the problem. So it's not easy to just go online and, oh, I'll have that, please. So, you know, you have to be careful. But I have two. Now, you'd be very familiar with the Rosex, which I was putting on with my last bout, and it just didn't seem to be going anywhere or doing anything. And I think I was just in that sort of headspace of, oh, nothing's working, rather than just sticking at it and keep applying, keep applying. Now, Rosex, I find, is really good and apparently is very good for the redness when you get the flare-ups and the redness. Very good for taking the redness down. Now, I have a gel. You can get it in cream format as well. So, Rosex, that's 9.75% and that's the gel. So, I use that um, when my skin's particularly red apply it and really give it time to work into the skin if you're going to put other skincare over the top or makeup um so rosex and then this which i've been really using a lot after the last bout during and after which is Sulantra solantra um that's 10 milligrams and this is a cream you only need a small amount both of them you just put them on the affected areas not a full face wherever you've got your breakouts small amounts prescription only both of them um this works well if you have the spots pustules blisters that kind of thing so i have sort of alternated them i've used the rosex one day and night and i've used the Sulantra day and night and again really let them go into the skin i did find when my rosacea was really bad that this seemed to make my skin very very flaky and I kind of had to bear with it, let it go in and then I put a hydrating serum over the top. As I say, as soon as my period started, my skin sort of, hello, came back and the dryness went and the flakiness went. It's all very, very bizarre and very frustrating. But those two are essential in my routine and I will stick with them. These are both applied um, morning and evening after I've cleansed my face then I put these on. I don't use toner. I'm not using any retinol at all. Um, when it comes to cleansers, I wanted to share the cleansers. If I have been using makeup, I do generally like to use an oil cleanser. And it's still the Simple Hydrating Cleansing Oil, which I love. They've repackaged it for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm using that. So that's still on the cards. I apply that over the whole face and then I cloth it off with lukewarm water, not hot. I'm even wary of my shower being too hot because um, heat really sets my skin off. So lukewarm, not too abrasive, so very gently taking the muslin cloth over. So I'm using the simple. That kind of dissolves all the makeup 
um, straight away and then if I've worn makeup I like to do a, a double cleanse so I will go in generally with the nourishing melting gel cleanser this is number seven um, I love it it's very scented highly scented um, the only thing I will say is I do find sometimes it dusting my eyes so do be careful if you're working it over any stubborn mascara generally the oil takes most things away but I do inevitably put it all over my face so I'm using that I'm also using this on a morning and if not I'm using the Indeed Laboratories Hydrolyron cream cleanser um, that I apply add a bit of water and it sort of foams up and you can wash it away or cloth it away um, I tend to sort of splash water and wash most of it off and then I'll still wipe a muslin cloth over the top um, this one again apply over the face and I will actually cloth this one off so those are the cleansers that I am using every day so cleansed I've put my treatment on Rosex or Sulantra and then I've gone on to something else from Vichy now you know my love for the Aqualia Thermal Serum adore it but the last bout I it's really was stinging my skin and I'm always very wary stinging is not good um, and it made me very sort of cautious and I thought right let's try something else and I had a sample of the mineral 89 from Vichy which I used and had no issue with at all and it actually made my skin feel a little bit better um, because I was really out of love with my skin so I have the Vichy uh, mineral 89 um, this is the fortifying and plumping daily booster and I love it, I really do. It absorbs immediately, so it's not a sticky gel. It comes out as a gel. It's not a sticky gel at all. I shall put it on the back of my hand. So generally, you can see they're quite runny, but gel-like. Two pumps, but it really just made my skin feel a little bit more friendly, let's say, um, when it was really dry. And I always say to you, whenever I touch my face, it will go red. But as long as it subsides pretty quickly, I don't worry too much. If you have very sensitive skin, I would say press product into your face. So you're not friction on the face at all. This goes straight in. And I really, really love it. You can probably see I've used quite a lot of it already. Very comforting. I also apply it on a night over the top of these. They work well. They don't gather. They don't collect. You don't have sort of little flaky bits, you know, where, where you get different textures rubbing together. Often that happens when you've got silicon in your products. But this has actually been a godsend because I do like my thermal serum. But I feel this has really given my skin... Um, the hydration it needed so hurrah for Vichy again I'm going to give that a few minutes lips La Roche Posay lip balm um, I can't be doing with balms that you know like Vaseline they don't have any purpose really they just sit on the lips and you just end up wiping them off this actually does condition the lips it does have a lip applicator on if that's your way I just like to use my finger I really do and I go over the top as well over the lip line that just nourishes the lips i love this the roche posse it's about six pounds but it works and then moisturizer so i was using the elf holy hydration again when i was sort of a bit iffy about the vichy aqualia thermal i felt the elf there was a sort of tingling could have been a combination of the two but immediately the warning signs go up and I think no I need to think of something else and I do have a lot of faith in Vichy because it's always stood me in good stead um, and I thought I'd try the Aqualia Volcano Drop um, moisturiser this is 75 mils um, and I absolutely love it it's it's lightweight it's very creamy look at that I really love it but it gives you so much moisture to the skin throughout the day just a really nice soft very silky substance but I've not had any 
reaction i can put it straight on the area which is a big test for me putting it on the areas that are sensitive and it has no sort of fragrance no smell to it at all but it leaves my skin feeling so glowy and lovely the first day i put it on i'm not joking it literally went completely disappeared there was no glow to the skin no nice sort of soft finish it was completely matte that's how dehydrated my skin was i just stood and went oh my goodness so i put another layer on and within probably three or four days you can probably see there's a nice sort of glow to the skin from this moisturizer it isn't one i've seen a lot about and i purely spotted it um because i'm always looking at vichy products even though i religiously bought the thermal for so long um i really like it and you do just get that really nice hope you see that really nice just sort of soft healthy glow to the skin so that's the aquilea volcano drop they're on offer an awful lot if you look on sites like look fantastic boots it's surprising how often Vichy have um, offers on, so do keep an eye out. Generally, I buy mine when there's 10, 15, 20% off. And finally, if I'm going out, <laughs> oh, I remember those days when you went out. Um, SPF, always SPF. Um, and I have the La Roche Posse. This is the tinted um, Anthelios 50 plus UVB UVA um, protection you always shake it before you apply I'm not going to put it on because I'm not going out and I don't like to waste products but that always SPF even if there's SPF you know oh I'm, I'm putting a foundation on it's got SPF still put a separate standalone SPF on all year round all year round there's still uv out there even on december the 26th it's there it's there all year round but my skin just feels it feels so smooth feels really soft um the color's gone down i mean the difference this time last week my skin just looked and i could feel all the bumps and i think there's one video where you may remember where i was saying my makeup you could see it actually gathered on the flaky areas there's nothing i could do about it but i do feel very positive about this combination and i will keep on with that i've just got to sort of remind myself even when my skin's bad just keep on with these products um because when it's subsided nothing's reacting away from that um you may find if you go to your doctor with rosacea they will prescribe Azelaic acid, that's one of the first things they go for. It is very, very good. I did use it, but it really made my skin very, very itchy and it really dried my skin out, really dried it out. Um, so the side effects with Azelaic acid for me, it just wasn't enough to keep going. I just feel happy with the Rosex, which I've had a couple of tubes of. It lasts a long, long time. And then the Zulantra. So those two for me, are essential to always have um when my skin really cleared i did stop using them um and i think it's a sensible thing to do but i think i need to just be a little bit aware that as soon as a bit of redness comes to introduce them back um and definitely if you're using anything like that any steroid or you know antibiotic cream always make sure you've got an spf just to protect your skin because it is very very vulnerable and all this means it's really vulnerable and very sensitized protect it spf um and the cleansers very happy with the cleansers that nothing terrible's happened especially because this was so sort of strongly fragranced um yeah it has fragrance in it sort of middle of the ingredients and i was a bit concerned about the fragrance i don't feel fragrance sets my skin off um but this really does smell quite strongly i don't mind it but there you go where hydroleron it isn't particularly scented but it does have that foamy aspect which you know it could go either way but they've been fine and the simple um cleansing oil you've seen a lot um still use it still love it and it's a great price as well right thank you for joining me i just wanted to update you as i always do when i change things in my skincare thank you to those of you that have been in, in touch to say you've 
you know, using Rosex, let me know. Um, and when I say it, I mean it. I really want to know how people get on with it. Persevere, don't give up. It may work very quickly. It may not work very quickly. Keep on with it. It can be months before it makes a difference to your skin. But keep on with it. Have faith and just keep a note of what you think may be a trigger. I was going through things like coffee, alcohol and alcohol anything that makes me feel a bit warm the cheeks flush um i've even had to turn the heating down a little bit but just keep a note of things and gradually you start to a picture forms i did always think mine was hormonal and i think that's sort of 90 percent of the problem um stress doesn't help either and also digestion digestive systems can have quite a reaction and i don't always eat very well and if i have a lot of um indigestion i feel my skin shows that so there are other things in there but for me hormones thank you for joining me and i will be back with another video where hopefully i don't mention hormones